NOVAFOLD, DNA Star's 3D Protein Structure Prediction Program, can build 3D protein structure models from a sequence file based on iterative assembly simulations. DNA Star provides NOVAFOLD as a cloud-based, separately licensed service from within Protein 3D. To get started, we'll launch Protein 3D from the Navigator. By default, the NOVAFOLD panel appears at the bottom left of the Protein 3D window. Since we are not logged in, the NOVAFOLD panel is in preview mode, which only allows us to see several example results. If we close the NOVAFOLD panel for any reason, it can be accessed again via a variety of menu commands, including File, Predict Structure with NOVAFOLD, View NOVAFOLD, and Structure, Predict Structures, Predict Structure with NOVAFOLD. Another way to open the NOVAFOLD panel is via the Predict a Structure with NOVAFOLD link, which is shown in the Details panel. We'll click that link now to reopen the NOVAFOLD panel. Before proceeding, I'm going to close some of the views and panels and then rearrange the remaining panels to better suit the limited screen space in this video. And so now we have the NOVAFOLD panel on the top and the Details panel on the bottom. For this example, we already have a valid NOVAFOLD license. If you do not yet have a license, you can learn how to obtain one by contacting support at dnastar.com. The first step to running a prediction is to log in to our DNA Star account using the same email and password used to log into the DNA Star website. After successfully logging in, NovaFold shows the number of predictions or length of time remaining on the license. The table that makes up the main portion of this panel is called the prediction list. This is where we'll load in the structure file that we want to use for our predictions. To add a file to the list, we can use some of the same menu commands mentioned earlier. But here, we'll use an even quicker option and just click the Create Prediction icon. In this case, the file of interest is a text file, so we need to choose that file type using the drop-down menu. Then we select the file and click Open. The file is now a row in the prediction list. The small yellow icon at the left shows that we haven't yet submitted the prediction, and the comment column at the right confirms this. The details panel at the bottom of this window also shows that the prediction has not yet been submitted. To submit the prediction, we need to click on the Run Predictions button. This opens a dialog showing the molecule name, sequence, and the number of residues. At 79 residues, our sequence is well within the allowable limit shown at the top of the dialog. This dialog provides links where we can see the estimated cloud time needed for the prediction, or to review DNA Star's terms and conditions. We can also access the advanced settings by clicking the small arrow to the left of advanced options. These settings are fine as is for most predictions, so we'll leave them at the default settings. Now we can click Run to begin the prediction. Once the prediction begins, note that the status icon changes to a green arrow and the comments column and details panel show how far the prediction has progressed on a scale from 0 to 12. We can stop the prediction at any point by clicking the Terminate Prediction icon, or remove the item from the prediction list entirely by clicking the Delete icon. The top part of the screen shows what the Nova Fold panel looks like after all 12 of 12 steps have been completed. To see our results, I'm going to maximize the Details panel at the bottom of the screen by pulling the pane divider upward. The Details panel contains five sections that can be shown or hidden using the triangles to the left. The results list consists of thumbnails showing renderings of the predicted structure. Predictions are color-coded based on their TM scores, with green being the best match, followed by yellow and then red. The Actions section contains a link allowing us to save the result data to a compressed zip file. Another way to both view and save the results is to click on the thumbnail to open it in Protean 3D Structure View. From here, we can go to the File menu and choose Save, to save the structure as a dot structure file. For more information about doing protein structure prediction with NovaFold, or for information about any of our other DNA Star applications, please visit our website at www.dnastar.com or contact us at support at dnastar.com.